It is a new weekly, and I have not played any of the new weekly up until uh, this immediate moment. Wow. Live in action, you had to be there. Duck is a classic. We always love a duck. Otters is one of the biggest uh, turn one and early game winners ever. And I simply cannot refuse having an early level, so we're going to go a bunch of marmosets then. Iconic pets, bad riders, miff drivers. We're going to be some bad pets um, under the belief that if we say that we're horrible, we'll seem like we're really like humble about it, you know? And through humbleness, we will win the game. Let me know if the battle sound effects are too loud, because I find that they often are. <laughs> My day's going pretty well. How was yours? I, uh, my work was pretty chill today because um, I work in animation and my animation lead had to do some stuff. Uh, so he didn't have time to review people's animations. So I didn't have uh, as much of a deadline for finishing stuff today. <laughs> Otters are cute. Otters are the cutest. Thank you. Correction. Are they the cutest? I don't know. My dog, uh, Goose, is a chocolate lab and when he has his ears back, he basically is an otter. So that's fun. We can get- it's turn three. Everyone knows turn three is the turn of levels. Everyone knows that Capybara, while adorable and I love its song, its theme song, stunning, I refuse to buy. So what can I do? This? I wish I could draw- I kind of wish I could draw too. <laughs> I feel like I have a decent uh, ability to draw, but in terms of animation, I'm a 3D animator, so I use like puppets and stuff. Favorite animal is the spider, so the spider is a hot jam. Spider is a totally valid level three. Tier three, by definition, I mean. But I use like 3D models and like rigged models to animate for games and stuff. So while I think that I have an average level of drawing or slightly above average, I don't usually do it as a hobby very often. Level 2 Hedgehog or do we wait one second and do it next turn for the fun of it? More hedgehogs and another geese. I will accept the geese and by geese I mean swan but basically still a geese. This is that part where Despite the fact that I should totally just level someone right now, I just like doing things on turn 5. So I'm going to waste all of my turn and just buy a meat for this swan. No, two hedgehogs. No, my own hedgehog. Oh, Frickle, my dude. Oh, we need the bee. Horrendous. Horrendous. If I had leveled you, would it have made a difference? It would have. Yeah, see? Okay, well, point proven. I should have. I should have done stuff that was good for me. People say do things that are beneficial, and I say that sounds like a lot of work, and they're like, yes, but it's beneficial by, by default, by, like, the definition of what you were doing there. Am I gonna level you again, though? That's a harsh question. I don't understand the concept of Manta Ray. This does- it just doesn't seem like a good use of anything. Like, does anyone have any respect for Manta Ray? Because, like, a goose at level 2, which isn't, like, crazy hard to get, does the same thing but you don't have to have an empty space for it, you know? So that just sounds horrendous. Unless you're running something that you might have empty spaces for, like a llama, then that's like, okay, free. Llama plus that thing, sure. But they're not even from the same pack, so who's to say if you're ever gonna find that? Croissant. Chickpea. Hatching chick. One beautiful chickpea to shove up against my rooster. That's my biggest dream. I used to own a rose tarantula. She was decently sized. Whoa. <laughs> I will say I respect the spiders in the game, in the real life, I am terrified of them. The fact that it is a rose tarantula makes it sound absolutely more delicious than an average spider, though. Was it, like, red? It's short for... Wow, I can't even read that. It's Myrrh is Elves in Tess. Wow. There was some fancy thought put into that. My first ever, like, gamer tag was pretty cringy because it was a combination of just a word that I thought sounded cool. Like, it was just like, this sounds cool, I'd be cool if I had this word, mixed with a reference to Homestuck. And I don't know if anyone here knows what Homestuck is. The Elder Scrolls. Oh, valid, valid, valid. I can respect that. Gaming-based things. Gamers do be gaming, though. Homestuck was like a webcomic web comic that was extremely popular in the past, and I would say that I was part of the fan group of it. However, not in a negative way. Just finished Licorice Recoil. Wow. It was not great. The neighbor decreased was laughing. My heart says it was simply lovely. It was a story about the value of life, the dictum of freedom and stability, and the length points goes to secure their ideas. I have not heard of Licorice Recoil, but the way that you said it makes it sound intensely fashion. So fancy. I could have a level two. I could do that, yes. Whoa. Whoa. 
Like, yes, but where would I put you? Because I can't put you behind the rooster because the hatching ticks got that covered already. You might as well because you're there. Oh, 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 oh. I think that it's really hard to run a moose. But we could do it for free right now. We could do it for free right now. Or we could just not. By doing this. And it's a 5. A 5-5 five, five to somebody. If you maybe hit the rooster, that would be great. You make a hobby of analyzing narrative themes. I mean, that's a jam. My favorite uh, genre in high school was definitely English, so... Not to say that I specifically enjoyed, um, you know, when the teacher is like, what does she mean metaphorical when they say that the thing is blue and you're like, oh, of course it means that she was sad and grief stricken and horrendous. And the teacher's like, yes, good indeed. But in your soul, you're just thinking, I think it was just blue because normally those things are blue. Classic uh, thing that seems to be coming up on the internet a lot recently. You, I'd rather have you a banana and there's the banana. Am I going to cry myself to sleep about that? Um, maybe. Maybe. Maybe, 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 but no one will be there to see it, so you can't really blame me. Please, a good one. It was a good one! Sweet, 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 sweet hatching chick. Kinda wish that I didn't have to sell the second half of a hatching chick that I was possibly able to get earlier. Did he give it to the chicken? Moose, in order to validate your existence, like, whatsoever, I'm gonna have to request you give your things to the chicken. The chicken is god and lord in this household. Stop. Stop that now. Okay, but power? Yes, power. <laughs> I started stream approximately five minutos ago, so nothing is missed, and even if you had missed some, basically nothing was missed. Yes, yes, yes. Levels? Mmm, levels. We have to adjust. Ooh, a buy cell? That's better than you? Someone else has to go. It would be Hatching Chick. I'm gonna say it's better than you, honestly. I just hate having to think about the fact that people, like, disappear. Like, I can't freeze things with the other guy, so I'm just gonna say, yeah, like, F the other guy. I get to save this rooster for next turn, and that's all that matters to me. Okay, switchums. Everyone be logical. There's the logic. The logic is back in town. What term do you normally start and end stream? Uh, there's the little glitch. I don't necessarily have a set schedule. I, I streamed like three days in a row, and before that I didn't do it for a while. Theoretically, it's always going to be after work, so at the earliest I'll ever start is going to be like 6, 6.30ish, um, and I am on the East Coast. Or I'm on the West Coast, sorry. I'm on the West Coast, which I realize is kind of jank, because it means that everyone else, if you're in America, everyone else in America is going to be so late at night when I start streaming, because it's like three hours and such delay. Hello? Hello? I forgot about the buying things that are mattering. I do intend to at some point begin streaming. I feel like I should be doing Tuesdays and Thursdays and Sundays, and they would all start at 6.30 on those three days. I'm not entirely sure when I'm going to actually start doing those things, but that does seem to be the thing I should be doing. I actually wanted to keep this hawk, but actually in the name of uh, stats, I guess I won't. I would love to throw a chocolate on that dragon, though. What better of a dragon type is there but chocolate flavored? They have the blue eyes white dragon. They have the red dragon, who is the most monstrous, I think, in DD. I'm not so that's too many shots, guy. How about calm? Stop. Victorious. Oh, the monkeys. Are there pills? There's no pills. I love the addition of bananas because I like the idea that you could just get monkeys. Like, that's great. Yes. Goodbye. I actually like this more than I like just the cow flat up. Yeah, I feel like until you get like a real like schedule going, sometimes it can be kind of hard to be like, oh my god, like I just worked and I was staring at the computer for like eight hours and I'm so tired from work and like, do I actually want to stream? Because it takes a little bit of like mental load, you know? It's difficult. Ooh, popcorn, but on who? The dragon? I guess I, uh, in terms of tools, I have like nothing of goodness. The banana's chill. The croissant doesn't need to be alive anymore and meat is meaningless. Only one or two hours long. Completely valid. Um, prior to streaming more recently, um, I am a very quiet person in real life. So I'm not used to talking very much, and by law of that, my throat gets tired very quickly. I love the T-Rex, we're gonna skip it for now. So I can't even physically go for a crazy long amount of time just because my throat gets so tired of talking, you know? 
So I feel like two and a half hours, three hours, probably max, but I could definitely see how if someone's doing it like full time, if they're a full time streamer. I feel like you would be more suited to begin lessons to sing well, because you'd be so used to talking so much for so many hours a day, like if you stream like five to eight hours a day or whatever, that your lung capacity and your throat strength would be so good that you could just become a singer if you wanted. Do you do private games or just arena? On Super Auto Pets? I have never actually played Arena on Super Auto Pets. I've never played Challenge Mode either, because I'm just a baby, I guess. I'm simply a small babe. Once of the days, I don't want to do too much stuff pressing I post my schedule on my profile. Yes, I, uh, last time, I didn't know how to reveal to people when I was planning on streaming, because I wasn't sure if I was going to stream yesterday, and I did not in the end. And so I, I posted it on the schedule that I was going to stream today, um, in case anyone saw it, but I wasn't sure how many people look at those things i don't know like i didn't even know that i could do that until like a second ago so is the schedule thing like a common like people who watch twitch regularly they know about checking schedules i assume like is how it goes big chicken is like literally so good bananas is also great super bananas would be even better bananas with ice cream <laughs> listening to you talk is like listening to my own thoughts so sporadic and constant yes Simply indeed. I feel like it might just be a condition or something. Hey, a level two swan! Hey, I said no to your brother, and now his cousin comes into town, and he's like, you said no to my brother, but I've come here today to prove that I'm cooler than him, so you should accept me so I can go back to him and say, jank. And I say to that, that's really rude of you. You should respect your brother. I'm not going to give you food just because you want to be cool in front of him or whatever. Yes and yes. Your cousins and brothers? Yes, they're cousins and brothers. Isn't that disgusting? That's why I don't respect the situation or anything. I'm not gonna, like, do that. <laughs> Get zero viewers. Yeah. I feel like um, most of the people who watch me right now have come from watching some of my YouTube videos, which I've been uploading pretty consistently for a few months. So I feel like it's not- it's, like, really hard to get people just straight off Twitch. Unless you're playing all of the new games, which is very expensive to just be buying all of the new games, I will say. In here? <laughs> not diagnosing anyone. I am technically not diagnosed with anything, but I have suspicions, I will say. I am not certain. This. But would I? But this, though. But who? No! Shit, I didn't mean to drop that. <laughs> I found you through your sap YouTube videos. Yeah, I feel like that's- I want to consistently put sap out because it seems to be the most like fun for people. Definitely my highest view videos consistently. I did not mean to buy you. I was considering you, but I don't want you to hit him. But I can't like replace this. Like how funny would that be? That'd be so dumb. So we're not going to do that because it'd be so dumb. Obviously. But welcome, welcome, welcome. Hmm. Two chicks, three chicks. Our chick is basically maxed out. Our hedgehog could be beefier. In terms of beefness, our hedgehog has scrawny little noodle arms, and I don't respect that. Death? We still have three lives left on our first run of the new weekly. It's a good weekly. It does be a good weekly. You know what? You're still temporary. We're doing the ones. The ones. Ones. More ones. Infinite goose. Close brother to swan. Creator of dreams. This is a lot of guys. I'm not even gonna buy you immediately. I kind of want a dude who does something for the last buy, but there are none, so fun duck. If you play the popular game, she'll be buried in the directory. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's like, I, I hear, right, that the correct thing is supposed to be you have to play the popular games, but popular games of a niche, you know? Like, like, like if a, if a new Diablo game comes out, right? Everyone's playing Diablo right now, for instance. But... If you have, like, a new indie game that comes out, and it's, like, a cozy- Like, maybe it's, like, there's a cozy, I don't know, like, group of people, and everyone's, like- These are the specific streamers that you go to to watch them play, like, this very indie, but, like, there's a strong love for it of, like, you're running your own cafe and stuff like that. I feel like Super Auto Pets is kind of like that. Super Auto Pets, I don't think, is very mainframe. But the people who watch Super Auto Pets really like watching it. <laughs> so it seems like a pretty good, I don't know, little starter environment, I guess. Thank you for the lurkins. Hot respect, my guy. We could just do more walrus. I mean, we're almost maxed, honestly. Our dragon can almost, like, get kicked off. He can just leave. 
This? No. Yes? Yes, there's nothing else for us to do here. I don't know if more peanuts is the answer, but possibly more peanuts is the answer. So I guess if you say it that way. But I don't want peanuts. I want banana. I don't want this banana to go. I've, I've, t I've removed my ability to run walrus very happily by virtue of the fact that we're doing this hedgehog thing. Yeah. Super Auto Pets is great because, yeah, it's so easy to get into because it's so gosh darn fast. It takes like five minutes to do a run, and by five minutes I mean like, I don't know, like ten sometimes, depending on how quickly you die, I guess. And it's so rapid fire. It's great for playing because you have to make a decision like every five seconds. So if, if you have a game that's like, maybe like Skyrim or something, you know, where there's a lot of just kind of walking around, I feel like sometimes it can be hard. Like for me, I have a really hard time saying stuff if I if there's nothing thinking-wise happening, like, on the screen. So I either have to play games that have a plot... Oh, crap. Here's another dragon, I guess. Oh, shit! Oh, I wanted to switch him. <laughs> so here's a four-squatted, I guess. Ha have at you, sons. Get, get out there and rule the world, sons. <laughs> I believe in you. We don't need five team to win. Oh, oh god. Well? Well. Well. Sit down, son. Sit, sit again. Again, my dudes. My, my dudes! That's the first time I've won with a level 3 hedgehog. Legends are being made. Records are being written in the digital format right now. Ten piece for the win. And I had two lives left. Been playing Super Auto Pits for a while and I'm still bad at it. That's the secret. Um, it's so random. Like, I feel like you could, like, go under the Super Auto Pits, like, subreddit and, like, specifically look up, like, okay, how do I win this weekly? And it'll just be like, here's the one animal. Just keep re-rolling till you get this one animal. But that's just kind of boring. I kind of just find animals that I think are fun, uh, which mostly is just animals that give stats or animals that get stats. I love those things. And I play them consistently, and sometimes I get zero wins, and sometimes I get ten wins. And I'm cool with that, because if you lose evil wigs, you can start again, and it's so freaking fast. <laughs> That's my secret, Captain. I'm always bad. That's the real secret, Captain. I don't care if I'm bad. And therefore, I'm always having fun. And if I'm always having fun, I am never bad. That is the circle of truth. Mmm... Level fish? Or one otter? One otter, though. Mmm. Look at that saucy little face. I can't deny one otter. His back feet look like flippers. Do otters' back feet look like flippers? I feel like whenever I see a picture of an otter in the real world, I just only ever see their hands because they're like half in water. They're like platypi. I've never even seen a picture- have I seen a real platypi? I've seen Perry the platypi. We could level. We could do that. Your feet are webbed. Ooh, gorgeous or creepy? I'll let you decide. I accept the dolphin into my household. I do not currently have an heir to take over my throne as I die, um, as all of the other animals and children that I have right now are stinky butts. They are not respectable. They are not strong enough to make it into my endgame heiress. This dolphin, perhaps, could get there, though. You could be left in the will. Bluebird gives one random attack. Stat to one person on your team at the end of each turn. A level two gives two. It's basically like early game baby stack gainage. I don't like you. Let's- okay, let's actually look now. I haven't looked. The macaw is always amazing. They're semi-aquatic mammals of action. That's true. <laughs> semi-aquatic mammals of action. I don't know the rhythm. We have a lot of stack gainage. We have octopus. In terms of tier fours, yes, 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 yes. I hate you. I, I don't understand your concept. I hate you. You're okay. I love the worm so goddamn much, but there is never enough food in the shop that actually does stuff, and it makes me cry all the time. Like, every every other tier that I shed is because there's so many tools in this game that, there's so, that you can barely ever run the worm because there's just not enough consistent food to actually give him nutrients. He starves to death in my- you know, Panda, this is a level, but on the other hand, I hate you. Okay, how about- yeah, I'll accept that, though. Yes. A honey is not bad. I would take a honey. I'd take a sweet little honey and take her on a date or something. I mean, we got steak, we got sushi. 
We have a jar of honey. I'm sure she'd like at least one of those three things. Ow. Doesn't matter. Doesn't really matter, though. Does it matter a little bit? No, not at all. What a weird question to ask me when I just told you it didn't matter at all. Yes. Turn five. Yes. We just did this. However, there's not like a lot going on, so we might as well do it again. At the very least, we want to get it out early so that you don't be hitting garbage. I think that I like the level 2 otter in case we were able to get um, more to get more levs, but this is perm and it's real. This is real. The otter is fake. He's like fake stats. He's a ploy. He's a decoy making you think I gotta keep him in case I get more, but actually you should always just pivot. Is that the truth? Maybe. I miss shrimp and crab legs. Man, I'm weird. I love fish, as in like salmon and tuna and all of the actual fish fish, but I don't seem to love most other forms of seafood, but I love tuna and salmon and, and I can't even name anymore because those are the ones I buy because they're cheaper. The other things, a tilapia. Tilapia is cheaper than salmon, actually. Salmon is not cheap. I'm spewing lies. I'm spewing lies into my chat. Yes? Yes. I... I do like catching chick as well. Even though it got nerfed, I still like it. I'm the opposite shellfish all the way. <laughs> valid, valid. Well, luckily this chat is open to people who have distant opinions. Um, some chats would be like, you like shellfish? Well, get out of here. Peruvian red bullfish. I, I'm actually allergic to all fish except for Peruvian red bullfish. So I have that almost on the daily. I like to tease fate like that. You know, maybe one day I'll suddenly become allergic to that. But right now, I'm going high. I'm going hot and heavy, my guy. Banana. Banana. Hair. A bee? A bee. But no. But I could see how it would come up again. I don't... Well... They're offering me the chance to level things, the problem being that I don't really want anybody here anymore. Like, I gave that- that bird a bee- like a- a- what is it, a banana? I did it because I like the concept of a banana, but I'm also pretty sure that it will eventually kill them slowly with the poisoning of animals, so it's also kind of an investment in her dying peacefully and me not being caught for murder. As a friend of mine says, you are allowed to have your own opinions, but you're also allowed to be wrong. <laughs> That's valid. I mean, I mean, is it valid? I don't know. I guess I shouldn't support that kind of language, but it is funny. <laughs> Hello? Three random faints. Do things. I have none. I have one. But emotionally, I have none. And you know what's better than you? This. And you know what's better than you? You plus one extra. Ex oh, stop. I don't want this. Man, I really love pills. I want pills in the shop. It's kind of insane how... Despite a pill feeling like it's like, in concept, it sounds like the lamest possible food because it doesn't do anything besides kill a guy. It's actually the most dynamic and fun food in the entire game. Because there are so many different animals, which could theoretically be in the weekly, that just go off if you can kill them in the shop. Like a shark existing, anything that does the faint triggers in front of it and it gets cool things, that's amazing. Opinions are like a-holes. Everyone's got one and most of them stink. <laughs> you and your friends have a lot of crazy sayings, my guy. Lemon. Okay, it's turn nine. Can we actually get, like, guys who do things now? Like, can you leave? I hate that you have so much attack, but you do need to leave and you are the worst person on the team right now. Super. Potions. No! You thievery. Thievery, I say. This giraffe comes in here and thinks he can just drink the milk of our lord and savior, Rooster Christ? Come on now. I cannot defeat you. Ow. Hey, hey now. Calm, calm. Silence. Uh, well. Well. Oh, the chicks. It's obvious. It's it's not even a well. It's like a poohoo. Like, you thought? You thought? That's what I freaking thought you thought. Ye well? You're not permanent. This is also not permanent, but it is here, and it's pretty cute. It's kind of late for the giraffe at this point, though. I, like, the first uh, better scaler coming in- I'm surprised that you're almost level 3 before we have, like, even an entire other team. I don't want you, so I guess, what, like, one- one turn of hatching trick? On the bird? No, on this bird. Oh, we've got a lot of birds, don't we? We've got three birds! Why didn't you guys tell me we're running bird squad? It's the flight of the conquest. 
We're gonna rule the nation with our wings. Everyone knows that flight is like the ultimate advantage. Four birds? We have four birds! Oh my god, thank you for telling me! <laughs> we got so many freaking birds! <laughs> I'm sure that there are a lot of people who put, like, uh, personal restrictions on how they play the game to, like, make it more entertaining after they get kind of bored of it. I'm sure one of them is just only birds, because there's just so many bird variants. <laughs> he's an honorary bird. Yeah, look, he's got his many legs. He's yellow. Their feet are yellow. His yellow. What are birds but giraffes wearing chicken suits? You know, if you really think about it. If you really think about it, you know? Do I want to run a gorilla? It's kind of late, right? Because he has, to, he has to scale in order to be good, and... I don't think there's time for scaling. I would love to give you a pineapple, but I can't hold one yet. Well, I we could do that again, but this is easier, so let's just do that. The sound that that thing makes when you put it down... ...is so familiar to me. From, like, a different game, but what game is that from? Like, it sounds like something that might be from Minecraft. Like, it, I, surely it's not, but like, it's so similar to some sort of other game sound effect. Schmeet? No. Back off. Whoa, my chicks. You can't defeat- Oh, ow. You can defeat my chicks really hard, actually. With the power of luck? With the power of luck? Fuck. <gasps> With the power of luck? Damn it. <laughs> that had me going there for a second. It felt like we might have gotten out of that. But alas, alas. Yes. 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 Th he can go. The giraffe can leave. I would love to... You know what? You know what also the giraffe could do? Ooh, that's a dangerous play, isn't it? Fun spider fact. The bottoms of their legs, aka their feet, are called paws. Oh, feet. Ah, <laughs> uh, cute. I said mixing the word feet and cute together. Feet. That's so feet of you. I could sell both a giraffe and the bird to get a macaw out today. And that would be such a dangerous thing to do. And it would be behind, and I'd have to buy it this monkey tomorrow. But I could just- could I just throw a turn away? Am I willing to just throw this turn away? Maybe. Maybe we're just crazy like that. Maybe we're just really dumb like that. Ooh, a second birdie. I would like- oh, oh, it's a more birds. And then I got rid of my birds. Now we're playing monkeys. Oh, monkeys is also- how many monkeys are there in the game? Macaw summons its own orangutan. You have three more spots. A regular monkey. A gorilla. I think a tamarind is a monkey, but I don't think that you would want to carry that late game. In terms of like a cohesive turn, one more good monkey. Any more good monkeys. I love monkeys. I was gonna level him, but you're so close. Yeah. And now we have infinite monkey squad. There it is. There it is. And I actually would like you to have this more than that, so we'll take that today. Is this the order? Wait, is my rooster level 3? It's not. Good. The summon monkey is good with Manta. Yes! Yeah, that's what I was thinking, though. Like, Manta Ray seems like it, it can be okay if you have a team that already wants to have an open spot. But if you don't already have an open spot... Oh god, why are you so strong, you dumb snake? Ah, that little brain thing of yours couldn't possibly have that much knowledge. It was the crane who carried them. It was the crane. 